cigarette's not really doing it for me. I'm so used to my own particular blend of chemistry. This, this cigarette's actually upsetting my stomach pretty bad. But I'll try to get back on topic. It's probably a bad idea to, you know, I don't know if it's the water. It's probably the cigarette. I'm not, I, I don't smoke filtered. I don't smoke Marlboro. I, uh, anyway, um, I'll continue um, smoking and trying to talk. Trying to talk. That's what I was talking about. Order. I think the last word that I said before the the uh, the, the thing beeped is that uh, other people they're they're in a sort of order, and maybe for each individual. Maybe they're each as, uh, I don't think people really are, not many, many other people are like me in, in the way that they view things. Um, I know we're all human, you know, and I know there is a, 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 There is a spectrum, a very broad spectrum, and the frequencies are very precise. Okay, on that spectrum of of people, there, it's uh, seven. You know, I wish I could have just said it naturally, but I mean, there are it's like seven point three about right now um, billion humans approximately on this planet so you know 7.3 billion different frequencies but some some are very similar and it's not even like that I mean it's not like a you know it's not a scale you know there's not a person who's closer to the infrared and you know visible spectrum there's a there's not a person you know in the ultraviolet it's much more complicated than that but you get the point. And I, I don't like to simplify things. I like to make them um, as complicated as they need to be to be to make a point right off the bat. And I'm not going to go into a model of where to place people separate from each other. But I think about stuff like that, and they're useful. I think it, that comes with the science um, predictability models. They help us to determine things, but. If we follow them, they also, um, you know, or adhere to them. Uh, they can they can take away a little bit of um, uncertainty. And I guess that's what today's walk and uh, videos. Well, I heard a weird noise. Oh, um, yeah, that's what this is really about. Uncertainty. Uncertainty. You know what sucks? If I... I mean, if I upload these videos, which I'm going to do, but it may take away this experience for other people. And I know people will find a way. And that's okay. Um, we will, if, if, if we don't have, um, freedom, we get freedom. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <sighs> but, I know what I wanted to talk about. I know what inspired me to grab the camera and go out for a walk, though. How, how things are unfolding. Um, how this is playing out. How... How things are, are going to be. And that's, that's really what I'm, I'm most curious about. And most concerned. And not bad concerned. Just, uh... Interested. Interested concerned. 
careful what I think about. You know? I mean, we're not. We're not really. We're not perfect at this yet. And if we do get perfect at it, I know when I talk about things like things becoming objective, um, people say they don't like that. Well, a lot of a lot of people don't want to um, fall into into patterns of predictability. And I don't blame any of you. I I don't either. For me, it. It's like being in jail. Um, kind of. I mean, being in jail is... They know right where you're at. That's about as predictable as things can get besides being in a straight jacket and being completely monitored, which is what I want. I want um, all the knowledge to be free. All the information. I want to be able to look at someone and see all their biological functions and all their history. And yeah, I know some of you, many of you, many humans out there, maybe not, maybe not you, but many humans are, are vehemently opposed to that. That is the last thing that they want, is, is somebody to know all about them. But I think that's because they have shame. You know, I mean, I'm thinking, like the people there in the Riverview Apartments. You know, they're just sitting there. They're just sitting there watching TV on computers. Maybe some of them, you know, they have uh, candles and they're reading books. Um, but all of those things, they're very solitary. Um, and they're not always like that. Uh, many people are probably sleeping. Because some of them work nights. Um, and other ones play nights. You know, they get on their computers and watch TV at night. They'd rather be awake at night. You know, and that's kind of counter to this sort of pattern where um, people want people to be awake during the day. Um, just because it's easier. And, and I understand light. Um, we have these eyes that take in visual light, and it's really important um, for the way that we function. You know, taking information from the world. Oh, the cigarette's burnt out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit down. I kind of want to hide. I kind of want to just go into my little place, my little shitty apartment. And just sit there and do my recreational drugs. Look at this. Wouldn't it be nice? You know, I have never... I've... Since these have been here, I've, I've come down here... Um, I don't know, something like 50 to 100 times. Riding my... Oh my goodness. Probably more like 200 times. But I've just rode my bike on this path uh, down the river and passed by these since they put those in there. And in that, whatever, 100 to 100 to 200 times, I've never seen anyone actually playing chess on them. Though that option is there. And I appreciate whoever put those there. As I would like to see um, people, two human beings, um, out outside, um, socializing, just talking, and, uh, or maybe not even talking, just playing chess, communicating visually, um, and through the moves, through the game. Alright. It's about time to take a break and stir things up to make them unpredictable. I was tempted to uh, um, offer this nitrous oxide to those um, gentlemen that uh, offered me the cigarette. I don't know how old they are, though, and that would probably even be more illegal. Uh, 
I like these two. Um, as much as I wish this sort of information was just known, you know, like historians that walk around and, and they, they know where they're at, like, they know the history of the location, they know the events. I mean, a really good historian that goes even into um, paleontology, archaeology, um, geology, you know, and even um, the planet, you know, the, uh, what is it, planetology, earthology, um, yeah, you know, and then even, I mean, maybe a little chemistry, because that would be important if you want to know, and uh, physics a little bit might help. This is very weird. Registry scan PC tools registry mechanic. I wonder if this is valuable information. Probably not. I mean, it's obviously valuable to somebody if it's if it's running. It's kind of odd. These little kiosks. There's uh, two of them, at least, that I know of in town. Uh, one's over by Starlight, where I go, but that one doesn't work very well. And I imagine they really want this one to work because people use it. I wonder if I could touch. I wonder if I could interact with this. Interfere with it. Subscribe. Oh, look at that. License name, license key. And what's kind of gross is there's spiders in there. They've managed to get between the two panes of glass, and that is probably a turnoff for some people. The spiders, man. See, life. You know. I don't know how to input. Anyway, I'm not going to mess with this. It is it is interesting to me that that just happened to be running. Maybe somebody went by and started it running. But, uh, yeah. So, um, so I'm seeing a lot of new things, and uh, I want to. I want to not be outputting, and I want to just input, 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 input. But what's the good of that? If if it only goes to a one person, so much input. Okay, yeah, I get it. Like, if 99% of your life was input and 1% was output, you would think that that output would be valuable, especially if the input was very diverse and valuable. Um, you know, learning, taking in information, valuable information. That's what people like, you know. They like people who know things and know valuable things to get things that they want. It's generally money. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. It's generally, it boils down to money. Just how things are right now. And money is so not, um, not the rest of the things. Um, but people who are in high demand, actually people who are in high demand, they have skills that people need. Um, the typical lawyer, doctor, um, but the the energy, the, the physicist, like somebody like Thomas Edison who came up with, well, maybe not Thomas Edison, but whoever, people who come up with things like uh, technologies, lights, um, fuel, combustion, um, nuclear energy, you know, gosh, Einstein. You know, so much can be said in these terms for people like that, uh, and and we won't we won't even begin to know. Um, none of us alive today are going to be permanent humans, but and when I say that, I mean a lot of things. 
um, a lot of things that are possible, but basically permanent. Um, maybe not biologically, um, but still life, still capable of interacting and still capable of influencing the world um, and adjusting. Adjusting is probably important, an important part of that. Um, so much. There's just so much. I am. Part of me doesn't want to do this, but part of me is going to do it. And uh, I think I think I'm going to do it right now and see what happens. Okay. Here I am. I'm on this island. It's like a, a lumber mill island. Not a lumber mill island, but it used to be. I do know a little bit of history about this. You know. But I don't want to go into all that stuff right now. Because there's, there's bigger things. As much as I love my hometown, I love Alpina. I love, you know, these people. I love this place. I love the history of it. Um, and I appreciate I'm I'm in debt um, to to those here and I may be in debt more than a lot of people but probably not more than people who have more and that's the thing you know you might say, well, they're doing more. They're, they're doctors. Okay? They're doctors. Um, they own the factories. And the factories bring all this other stuff. So, they're important. whole process the chemistry okay we, we really need to understand this for what it is okay and just and value the process understand the process if we are going to control it or choose not to some some will choose not to some will choose not to seek control and um and just uh live surprised some might not even choose that it might just happen for some people and if they are happy like that then it's not all about happiness but happiness is part of it Maybe I didn't give it time, but not quite as fun as I remember it, or as interesting. Actually, I mean, it's more like a weight. It really does. It feels more like a weight now. Maybe I'm just not getting as much, or maybe they put less or something. <laughs> Probably should have read. Yeah, it still has nitrous oxide nitrogen and oxygen but what is important when it comes to nitrous oxide I don't know is it NO2 or N2O 
And even that, I mean, what does that mean? And I, I'm aware it's a molecular structure, but how does that interact with what is in us? And not just the interaction itself, right down to what it is. I think that's probably the most important aspect of this. I mean, what? What's going on? Good well, evening. Good evening. I recognize it, gentlemen. I recognize the voice. I, I wish, uh, I wish I knew more humans more people. There are so many good people. So much valuable information. But I have chosen um, to desire a very specific um, type of information. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people are not, are not like that. I'm trying to make sure the cream settles in the bottom. This is definitely probably incriminating. Maybe the videos are being moved. Who knows? I'm going to upload them regardless. It's at uh, 2155. I'm going to stop this, let it reset, and then I'll turn the camera back on before I finish this off. Total waste right now. My mind's not in the mood for this. Or my body's not. Whatever. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.